<laughs> Hello, salutations and greetings. My name is Margie. I'm a Oka. Empath, I just like having these little talks in the way I feel about things. <laughs> Today I feel pretty good. I came down to the park and I was like, I walk up, I have some buddies over here, they're sitting at the uh, at the picnic bench and I'm like, what the fuck, now there's two, because where I usually, they're sitting where I usually, well, where I sometimes sit and do these and, and, I, and I point out the restrooms over here, because the, the town, that's the thing is these freaking people get these in these positions of authority and then they get to designate, right, they designate where these funds go. And the frickin' they, their ideas are not very good. That's why the whole <laughs> the USA is freaking falling apart, man. Fledging down the toilet. I didn't know if, if it, I was I was told I was like, oh, you know, wouldn't that be weird if we saw the country, you know, the nation fall as we understood it in our lifetime? And you know, I'm only 47, <laughs> so it only took about 30 years from the time that you know I was like paid attention in history of what they said, and I was like, that ain't right. That ain't true to what's happening now you got a bunch of freaking people with very bad ideas in charge and they must have spent 25 35 maybe four nah more than that probably 80 90 thousand dollars on these portable restrooms for the concerts that they pay exorbitant amounts of funds for you know people to come and sit out here drink carry on do whatever you know and it the thing of it is is, is they bought two of them they bought two of them, so that they got so. But they why don't they just maintain the bathrooms, the public restrooms that are right next door? They're right next door. But evidently, Taos, New Mexico, is too big of a deal. So maybe they're getting too many people. So one bathroom isn't enough, and three is just accommodates the people. How accommodate? How nice? There's homeless freaking kid junkies all over town, but. You got some nice new little freaking porto potties over here that the taxpayers get a freaking piss away money on. So, anyway, I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, man, the only thing that's going to change the world is accountability. Is for people taking responsibility for themselves, you know, for their own health, getting healthy, getting out there, getting physical, moving your body, get your blood pumping, you know. If you ain't going to be glad to be alive, freaking... Sore spirit has a way to freaking shorten your days if you ain't going to be grateful for the ones that you got. It's a trip, man. More and more people are are, 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 are tuning in to, to, to higher frequential ideologies. You know, they're starting to open their minds a little bit, expand their minds. You know, at the same time, the congruence of that, the opposite side, equal opposite reaction, same egos are flaring everywhere, man. This guy was driving up and down the road. He's in a big old huge clackety clack gunning it. I'm like, dude, don't you guys know that's why your fucking dick stopped working because of that shit? Because your your the egos are so driven by showing the world a representation of your masculinity. Oh, my, fir my first mind is, dude, that guy's probably a bottom bitch. <laughs> he just don't want nobody to know how he likes it in the secret romance ways. <laughs> we're, we're talking over it. That's when, they, when you hang out with guys, you know, they have their shop talk is what I call it. You know, <laughs> And I'm like, dude, that's why they got wars, man. So you got the gay while away crew that they get to freaking implement their little perversions and twistedness and stuff like that, you know? Because <laughs> I was talking about how a buddy of mine is going away on a bros weekend on a guy's retreat. And, and, and I was like so ignorant when I was a young girl that I thought, you know, <laughs> some guys have different kinds of retreats, you know? Uh, so many people are one way and act like they're another. But I feel it. I feel it. I go by energy, so I feel how people are. Most people, they're not even worth the freaking bother tuning into. Is that him again? No. That ain't him. Adrian, <laughs> he'll, he'll probably be back around. Let all the ladies know. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> there you go, ladies. Have at it. Uh, I remember like high school and stuff like that, man. The girls, 
the girls the the guys that the girls would like i just be like why do you like them you know because you talk because i talk with the guys like people you know and 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 uh, i guess i always got the sides of them that that the ladies didn't get or something i don't know but i'm just like these guys are freaking dummies no they're not they're since i'm like dude they're playing you man they're not really like that i could i could freaking feel a little uh, it, it, you know what? At the same time, though, you're not supposed to tune into people's energy. You're not. I mean, ultimately, like if I was like, did completely what God wanted me to all the time, I, I would just, mm, I would have to be humming in my head all the time to try and transpute what people feel like to me. So what's going on in the world? I don't know. I'm doing a really good job of not paying attention to what's going on outside the world. I know more. You know, I, 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 <clears throat> Well, it's just like anything else. There's a wave that's happening. There's a wave. There's a collective wave, and you know, and 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 we're just going up in the peak right now. And ultimately, every time that there's there there's always a peak. There's always a maximum amount. There's always the highest that we can go, and we can't go no more. And things got to change, and we're in another one of those. You know, but the changes, the greatest changes in the whole world are going to reflect on the changes that are happening with inside each of us as an individual. Today I was driving around and I was thinking about my ego and I was thinking about like like when I wanted freaking I was at the place filling up the water jug and I was like, you know, I could get in the van really quick and freaking gun it and pull out in front of this line of traffic that I can see coming right now, right? And I was like, that's all ego stuff. That tells me that my ego is freaking pulsating right now it's active right now because i want to it's me first it's me first so in order to compensate for that i sat there and i waited i'm like i'm just gonna take my time i'm in no hurry so i sat there and i waited for all the cars to go by you know and 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 i do stuff like that that's the guy that's the ass hat that's the ass hat there he is, ass hat. No, where'd he go? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> That's the fucked art. <laughs> Ask him how cool he is, he'll tell you. <laughs> I love people like that. You know people like that? I know a few people like that, that whenever I talk to, because I like to try and relate to people as human beings, like, oh, you've done that? I've done that too. And that kind of a thing, right? But you have people that I swear they make everything about them. Everything. And sometimes it's a fun game to like, I don't know, start thinking of things far fetched like no there there's no way. How are they gonna how are they gonna tie this this to themselves, right? And they still can't manage to tie it to themselves. Now he's at the light. Your parents failed! <laughs> a lot of parents fail, man. <laughs> it's probably the short little dude, too. Man. My dad bought me this truck. Because <laughs> I didn't get a DUI in a year. <laughs> dude, there's so many drugs all over this town, man. There's always freaking people weaving in and out. I don't know why they don't get DUIs. They don't get trouble or something. Because the freaking cops are always eating at restaurants. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. There you go, ladies. <laughs> there you go, ladies. Take your pick. Come on out and visit us in Taos, New Mexico. Get yourself a verifiable hick of your very own. <laughs> Anyway, the thing of it is like this is these people are so big and flashy, but if you like got like like had a conversation with them, they're the ones that buckle because they're not real people. They just hide behind all this stuff that they are. That's what they are is they they just hide behind all this stuff that they are. That's all that they are. Stuff that they have. And ultimately one day if you're a human spirit and having a 
you uh, spirit having a human experience you're gonna come to the point to ultimately you should if you're not freaking that superficial and shallow that that you'll ask yourself things like is there something bigger than me you know the world is a different place man we're we're past we're past freaking people living and living this much in ego we're at the point now that we're freaking we got to take care of everybody in the community and there's enough for everybody because we ain't seen enough of that and i'm glad i am thankful every day that i live in the place where i live that god put us here where 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 i live because uh i'm just glad that i don't live in a big city yeah yeah so Paul is in the air. Auto is on the corner. I I took a bunch of pictures today and brought them home for mom. I'm like, oh mom, these in about three weeks when the the the, the leaves start turning are gonna be so darn freaking pretty, mom. You know, maybe she'll go out. I always maybe you'll go out and go for a ride with me. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Anyway, so how long have I been talking? What else is going on? I started talking about accountability, people being accountable. You know admitting when they're wrong you know cleaning up the wreckage of their past and not going into you know not bothering people that you don't got no but business bothering but there are often there are there are times in life that that we do cause harm to other people and there are ways that we can go back and make that harm better or you can even do it without letting the person know it's just that shift to energy and that's what anesthesia that's what all these these astrologers keep talking about is the shift in energy is the big shift in energy so i just hope it you know it's happening i pray that it happens within the individuals i i think who was it? i think it was anesthesia to anesthesia astrology i think it was her today that even said you know it's not like these world leaders are going to have this change of heart and just stop being d-bags immediately you know it's going to be it's going to manifest in all different kinds of ways but I, I do respect I do un- honor and understand the fact that that, that that people can do a 180 and live different than they they lived before I understand that you know it's also it takes a lot of work I took a screenshot of something I posted on Facebook yesterday I'm like man that's 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 it that's 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 it and it says people romanticize their plans but dread the execution the magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding that's off of the law of attraction people don't want to put in the work man they just want to and a lot of people have so much stuff and they never had to freaking do anything for it and that ain't fair that's an imbalance in the world that's stuff that's coming back in today i got wore this shirt i probably only wore this shirt probably five times in my as long as i've had it it's probably 10 years old it says this girl loves her beagle <laughs> I told Tucker this morning before I left, I said, Ted Doug, you're the beagle that I'm talking about. You're the honorary beagle today, Ted Doug. I said, oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> it's such a good boy. It's starting to get a little warm today. So I turned on the AC, made Mom some some zucchini, cooked up some zucchini squash and uh, some uh, broccoli with their scrambled eggs. And she ate it all, man. She ate it all. Yeah, it's good. It's good, so... You know, feed the body, feed the spirit. What else? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> High traffic area. This kills me, man. This kills me. This is a freaking kills me, man. Health is wealth, man. I'm glad they're out there getting some freaking fresh air, but seeing these kids and these freaking this, this, that's stupid, dude. That's just, and then it's just like, <laughs> my fellow Native American. The government has been lying since they've taken all of the land and left you, left us, I don't get no, but you casinos and, you know, little pockets of reservations all the way from the United, all of Turtle Island down to these little pockets of crumbs of this is all you get, right? Right. But they eat it up around here. They just do whatever the man tells them. I guess there was some sort of graduation on a Pueblo the other day and I'm like, graduation from what and it's he's it's a ceremony it's a ceremony I'm like ceremony for I'm like do they do they teach the children just to be obedient and listen to people and just do what they're told is that what they teach kid cuz see I was always taught to question things question everything and that I do 
I question everything. I question me. I question everybody I meet. I question things at all times. I question questions. I have questions for my questions questions. So makes life interesting. I have craving for freaking vid- from freaking ribs. Some freaking barbecue ribs at uh, Smith's. That's what I got a craving for. I don't know if I'll be able to accommodate that craving or not. We shall see. <laughs> well, I think I've been running my mouth long enough. I told Mama I was only going to be gone an hour. I was going to come down, do a talk on the video, and then be home time enough to upload it. Uh, I keep thinking about an events I want to do. and how, I just want, you know, because travel is going to be funny. And I know people are going to want to travel and be willing to travel. And I live in such a touristy place. I just want to invite people to come visit. And I would be glad to show you around. And there's all kinds of stuff that I could refer, you know, people, I don't know, you don't got to hang out with just me and you come visit. We can hang out, I show you some stuff, and you go off because there's freaking air and bees, you know. You can't find a place to rent in this town because everybody's freaking renting them out for, for exuberant amounts of, money. well, I don't know, 80 bucks a night or whatever. Uh, it's cheaper than a hotel room, probably accommodations are probably more comfortable, but. It does freaking, it is so touristy that it wrecks the freaking rental <laughs> market a lot. But, but it's a great place to come visit. So I, I'm like, I'm going to have an event one day. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a conference. And they're like, what kind? I'm like, I don't know. A truth speaking conference. I don't know. We'll see. But that way people can come hang out. Like minded can gather. Yeah, I've been, I've been a part of conferences as long as I can. And I just, I've, I, I like the production of things. It's in me. It's in my astrology. I'm good at it. So, I did never really like that movie, Field of Dreams. Build it and they will come. Ah, shut up. <laughs> That's about all I got for now. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.